Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Before the second half of our concert, I wanted to talk a little bit about Mahler's first symphony. In this next 18 months, we play all of Mahler's big symphonic works. And what a journey it is. What is extraordinary is that the first symphony started in 1884 when he was still only 24 shows no sign of lack of confidence or youthful inexperience. Of course, it comes up as fresh as anything, but the sheer brilliance of such an unusual symphonic scheme is still breathtaking now. Mahler really thought when this symphony was first performed that it was going to be easy for people to understand. Of course, now it's one of his most popular masterpieces. But the first performances were almost unmitigated disasters. Uh, in Budapest, even his friends would not talk to him after the first performance. They were so embarrassed. In Vienna in 1900, the orchestra actually deserted him and left him on stage to face the boos and the catcalling uh, and the whistling through house keys, the big old house keys they had in Vienna. It was one of their trademarks. And he said afterwards, I was so shocked because I thought everybody would understand this piece and I would be able to live off the earnings of the multiple performances over the next years. How wrong he was. Now, what did people find so strange? It is, after all, a symphony in four movements, a rather larger symphony than most were written around it, with a kind of normal scheme, a first movement, a scherzo, a slow movement, and a big finale. But being Mahler, it's what he put into it which seems to have confused people. By all accounts, Mahler was an extraordinary kaleidoscope of emotions and feelings at every moment. And he could go from being like a little child to being a fury, to crying, to laughing uproariously, all really within seconds. And the music does the same thing. There's very little music which is as autobiographical as Mahler. And in a way, when you learn about his life, it seems almost beside the point because there is so much of him deeply embedded in the music. 